here today with Aaron Clark with Summit Community Bank in the Greater Lansing, Michigan area. Aaron, with the downturn or the, I guess, the upturn in the foreclosure market and the downturn in the real estate industry, we've lost some of the zero down programs. Can you tell, we, we have VA, but let's talk specifically about the rural development loan that's the other alternative zero down program. Yeah, uh, it's a fantastic program. Uh, it is on, only eligible in certain areas. Um, it is also, there is a maximum income that your household can make in order to qualify for the rural development program. However, it is a true zero down program. Um, it does come along with a monthly uh, mortgage insurance premium or an annual premium paid monthly. Um, it is substantially lower than FHA. So it, in combination with the zero down and the lower monthly mortgage insurance uh, that you're paying, it is a stronger program in my opinion um, than FHA itself as long as you income qualify and the property will qualify as far as the location of the property. And, and rural doesn't mean, again, real rural. I mean, it, it's you have communities like a lot of Holt, DeWitt, Williamston that would qualify, yep. so it's more suburban to rural. Correct, that's correct. Um, you do have certain uh, counties in the area, all of the county, Clinton, all of Clinton County is eligible, um, where it brings Lansing, DeWitt into play. So yeah, you're, you're definitely accurate in that. And, and really the only two reasons people that are looking for a lower down mortgage product wouldn't use real development is the location of the property they're buying and if they make too much money. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. In my opinion, I mean, we, what we try to do is give them what their options are and let them make the, make the decision on, on their own as far as what's best for their needs. Um, but I do rec find myself recommending or, or presenting rural development as, uh, as a strong option for the clients. The other nice thing with rural development that other programs don't necessarily offer is on a purchase transaction, if the house appraised is higher than what the purchase price is, um, in a lot of situations you're eligible to roll in certain cosmetic improvements to the home, meaning a roof or uh, new floor coverings. Um, and that's especially important now with all the foreclosures um, where those properties maybe do have some deferred maintenance or some items that are missing from the home um, that you may not have the cash or want to come out of pocket with the cash to do those, those improvements. So a lot of times it's a little bit easier loan than FHA. Uh, I mean, I, I know you've said earlier or have told us and told me in the past that the appraisal requirements for condition are basically the same as FHA, but they do make it easier to do minor things to keep it going. Absolutely. As long as the house appraised is higher, absolutely. It's, um, they do allow you to finance that in or finance, finance and closing costs. It's not isolated to improvements to the home. Wonderful. We appreciate your time and uh, we'll touch in with you on some other ideas. Sounds great. Thank you.